Okay, this is a nice one. I really like this one. This one really looks good. We're going to keep it on there. I was thinking photo, photo, paper, but I don't think so. I think there's printed bits on this. This is printed, so it's going to have probably have certain types of certain halftone dots. So this one's an interesting one. I'm going to make this look good. So let's see how we go. Uh, color adjust. What are we going to do with this? Going, not quite going all the way with a contrast. Going to lighten it a bit. I'm actually going to leave it in the middle. Okay, let's see if we can make this look good. Right, I wonder how big we're going to make it. Is it going to be 100 or is it going to be 141.4? This will be an interesting one. This one here is Happy Birthday Just For You. I didn't, no one gave me this. Today's the day to, to celebrate the past, look toward the future and open the present. Funny, I basically, the past isn't something I want to celebrate. And the present, well, it's sort of, it's been damaged by the past, but the future is what I look, look, look toward and look forward to. And hope, and I'm looking forward to a bright future indeed. So I do have bright future on the horizon. I'm just, I just despise the past and, and the present. I don't like them because they're not ha making me happy. I'm not happily married with my future husband, Luigi. I just used my camera hand to press the start key, but basically I miss Luigi and because of stupid things in the past, I'm not with him. So I'm not happy with the present and the future. Well, that's when, when things will start to look up. That's when I'll be building photocopiers and making science experiments, uh, overcoming the shackles of my disabilities when they have the technology. And Luigi's gonna be a great husband. I know he will be. He'll be a wonderful husband. No, he didn't do this very well. Some of the glitter looks nice. He didn't do a very good job of this. But yes, yeah, so I, I basically am not fixed on the set, the present or the past. They really suck. But basically, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the first thing will happen long before I build photocopiers will be to get married and that's the first step in my future life is basically to get married and to, and to love Luigi with all my heart I love him so this is it this is our birthday card I just found I just bought this in a shop so I'm just trying to get the, the glittery bits showing by buckling this card when I photocopy it so I can get the, the colours to come up. But basically, yeah, I just I just don't enjoy... I, I hate the past. I dislike the present. And I look forward to the future. So that looks quite interesting. Uh, I wonder if we can do a better one. Or maybe we can use this. This this will look good in the centre. So this will become our master copy. So now we're just going to... Uh, right. We're just going to... Put this away for someone else. I do hope they themselves will have a bright future and, and that they won't have to deal with a rotted past like I have. So I'm just going to put this on the glass now like that. But yeah, I just look forward to the future, being together with Luigi and doing all sorts of wonderful things together. Something I haven't done been lonely lonely most of my life and screwed things up I've done nothing I've virtually done nothing right in the past a long time ago uh, but I'm hoping my future that I'm working on it now in the present I'm actually working on it so what I'm doing now in the present as I hold this camera in my hand or this phone is I'm making a future I'm making a future by working on the present we fucked up the part we fucked up the past which is which fucked up what was then the future and what is now present 
and we now have to fucking will correct loads of shit and it's just taking a long, long time to get this shit that I've made and to get it, to push it straight into the past where it belongs and just get just get the fuck out. It's not easy uh, trying to, to get people to be convinced that that I can, like my father sometimes reminds me of the past when I talk to him, so I don't talk to him at all. I've given up on him because he's one of the people that's been affected by my stupidity and he treats me like I'm a fucking idiot, so I'm not going to talk to him until he apologises to me. So he's got to apologise. He's got a lot of apologising to do because he used to... Stu- you know, it's not fucking right to remind me of the fucking past. You know, I know I've made mistakes, so fuck you, Dad. If you fucking tell me, like... Yeah, he threw me out of the fucking house when I was living with him. Fortunately, I was able to find a house quick enough, a place to live. I could have been fucking homeless if that fucking prick... You know, he just changed the locks on the door and decided... He wasn't even game enough to tell me that I was going to get kicked out. He just changed the locks one day and I walked home and my fucking key wouldn't work. So that's not really... That's really gutless. That's, that's, that shows my father's got a micro penis. He's not a real man. And he's always been a bully. Like when I was a kid, he used to strap me really hard and it would leave a welt across my leg. So I'm not happy with that. His past is shit too. And he tries to discourage me from doing what I'm best at, photocopier art. He wants me to be a fucking scholastic genius. You know, school, school, school. Prepare for work. Become a rich kid. Become a rich person. But I've got disabilities, fuck ya. I didn't know it then either, but I couldn't satisfy my father's desire for me to be an academic. Uh... I couldn't even make friends at school most of the time because most of the people were bullies anyway. So I got bullied most of my life. And basically, fucking up... They helped me fuck up the past by getting me to believe in them. They didn't try to make me believe. I believed in them because I had my head head screwed on the wrong way. And now they now my father has to apologise because he tries to remind me... He behaves like a school bully makes me angry and wonders why the fuck I yell at him and swear at him and and sometimes damage his household effects. Well, he earned it. He just, he start like the kids in school, he started it. And when he when he's when someone starts someone like something like that, I just want to fucking finish it off. I just can't tolerate the anger stress. So my fucking father has got to apologize or I'll forever give him the fucking middle finger.